Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trading is coming to you live, live from Asia, guys. Great time to be live. And guys and gals, are we seeing the beginnings, the absolute beginnings of a bull run about to start, guys? It is Sunday morning here in Asia. I'm working. Oh my MG, gotta get ready. Got less than an hour to get out of here, get out of town. I haven't had my coffee yet, but I just thought I would bring this update to you. Remember, all this is financial advice. It is, it is clear, clear in my mind that the bull run has started. Uh, we're seeing a lot of goodness out there. We're seeing Bitcoin is, you know, just about 28,000. We're seeing Dogecoin is still holding at six cent level. Some people are predicting that we could be seeing uh, seven cents coming in pretty soon uh, for uh, for the Doja Wozier. Also, we're seeing good things for XRP. Could XRP be the next Dogecoin story? Remember when Dogecoin was like almost nothing and suddenly exploded? Could we be seeing XRP, the next Dogecoin story? I think it could be. So guys, let's jump into the content without any further delay. Let's get into it right now. Smash the likes. So right now we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is just almost at 28,000. We're seeing that Ethereum right now uh, is down half a percent. The old coins are not doing as well uh, as Bitcoin, but overall Bitcoin is doing pretty good. And uh, you know, uh, it's not financial advice, but I definitely think it's a good time to be buying more and more uh, Bitcoin. So I'm gonna be loading up again today. I've been buying uh, Bitcoin almost every day. We're now seeing that the fear, the, 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 the fear and greed right now, let me just get into that, fear and greed uh, is looking pretty good as well. We're seeing fear and greed is at 49, pretty much unchanged from where it was a couple of days ago. We are seeing right now that the total, the total, um, the uh, percentage of Bitcoin dollars is almost 50% and Ethereum is at 18. So things are, things are looking pretty good. Things are rising out there, everyone. So it's a great time to be live. And also too, we're seeing right now that uh, Bitcoin is up almost 3% uh, on the weekly. So that is, that is, pretty lovely jubbly we're seeing ethereum is up as well uh down as well but and also down on the weekly uh the, look at xrp xrp is still above uh 50 cents so that is good news out there we're seeing that dozier wozier right now is at 061 pretty good and it's slightly up it's almost neutral and down for the week uh but we're seeing that we're seeing that the market cap is around eight uh eight eight around about uh, eight, let me get that 8.68 8 out there. And uh, we're just behind uh, Cardano. But what's got me a little bit excited, a little bit optimistic right now is the fact that uh, XR, that the DXY right now, you can see that the D DXY has started to come down. So you can see here that the DXY has come down. So that is pretty cool news, guys. Uh, and that is also helping, helping uh, Bitcoin go up. And, you know, I believe also too, that we are seeing that um, overall, we're seeing that the Bitcoin dominance is going up. So that is pretty good. And we're seeing that the stock markets have basically bottomed out in my opinion. I think they bottomed out. And I think this is a good reversal and a good time to be alive. Let's take a look. At, uh, let's take a look at what's going on uh, with Biddy right now. So you can see that Bitcoin right now, you can see right here, if we zoom in, Bitcoin is looking very very good out there and we are just below 20 uh we just uh 28,000 and we did break out of my descending channel so that is good we did break out out of this so that is good news out there and we're looking at 20 285 is going to be my next resistance around about there is my next resistance level i think we're going to get up there probably by wednesday we should be at 285 and you know once we clear the 285 range then it's going to be very, very easy, easy for us to clear uh, 29,000 and then 30,000. So we got some really good resistance around about 32,000, as you guys can see here. Hopefully we can get up there pretty soon. That's going to be amazing as well. So if you take a look at the Bitcoin returns, let me just refresh this for you. We can see, uh, let's take a look at the monthlies here, dailies, uh, flip that to monthlies. You can see that overall, that the returns for Bitcoin is also looking pretty good. Right now, October, we are about up 3.46%. And right now we're seeing that uh, we are only uh, just, just into the first week. So looking pretty good. We could see October doing a very, very well. Let's take a quick look at Ethereum. Ethereum is not doing as well uh, as uh, Bitcoin. We have this area of confluence here. And uh, this area of confluence, we need to get above 16, around about 16, uh, 1666 uh, to confirm that area. Uh, it looks like, uh, I'm thinking that uh, Ethereum could be continued to break down. 
Uh, I think we'll probably hit probably around about this level, around about 1600, 1500, and then we should bounce from there. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, let's take a quick look at Doji Woosh or let you get out of here. Just a quick video. We're seeing right now that Doge, let me just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. We're seeing that Doge right now uh, is just at 061. And as you guys can see, we've got this whole pattern. Pattern here is just going sideways, really kind of boring. Uh, really nothing is happening. But some people are saying that we could be seeing seven cents uh, coming in pretty, pretty soon. So it looks like Dogecoin could reclaim seven cents. And I'm feeling pretty bullish about uh, Dogecoin. I still think this is a great area to accumulate. And you can see here, I think what's going to happen according to this chart is we're probably going to see some zigzag patterns uh, going in this direction and uh, some kind of seesaw action. We could, we could drop as low as five cents and then bounce up from that. I don't think we're gonna see five cents. I think we're just probably gonna go six cents. And I think we're probably gonna see this happening. I think we're gonna bounce up, bounce up, bounce up, bounce up, keep bouncing the uh, six cent support level. And once we do that, uh, we'll do it a couple of times. And then finally we'll break out of the seven cent level and then we'll continue on. Uh, and then we should, we should top out around about uh, eight cents and continue on from there. So that's looking pretty good from my perspective. Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at Doge in terms of what's going on, uh, in terms of the chart and in terms of the market cap. So you can see Dogecoin uh, was doing pretty good on the last 24 hours. We did have a bit, a slight decrease back down to 6.1. We did hit a high of around about a 0.6, 0.6163. 06, uh, so not too shabby. We're seeing right now that the, uh, the total market cap is at 8.69 million billion out there and we're seeing the volumes are light as well uh in terms of who's in the money who's out of the money nothing much has changed for the last couple of days it's about 40 percent are in and uh 50 percent out uh we're doing a lot better than shiba inu guys because if you take a look at shiba inu uh only nine percent are in the money and uh 87 89 percent are out so that's not looking good uh, if you take a look at social sentiment right now for dogecoin uh, we are looking, let, let's see if this will refresh, guys. Don't forget to smash likes and uh, don't forget to, to Dogecoin 111, guys. Let me give this a bit of a refresh here. Uh, let's see if we can get this fired up. Fired up, here we go. So we're seeing that Dogecoin right now, if we can find, Dogecoin has dropped all the way down to 17 spot, ooh, MG. And if you take a look at the social sentiment, what are, what are people feeling about Dogecoin? Uh, we can see that on the weekly, it's pretty good. The engagements are going up, so that's nice. Let's see how we're faring on the daily as well. So on the daily right now, we are seeing it's going down, but the weekly is still looking pretty good. Remember, Dogecoin is very much community and uh, community and sentiment driven. So as we see the sentiment going up, well, the price will go up. Uh, Dogecoin, as uh, uh, Shiba Inu, sorry, Shiba Inu has also just been going sideways. Expect probably a bit of a a bit of a seesaw action going on and being supported around about 0693. But I really think that the bull run is coming. And why I say that is because, guys, look, look at BTC. It is getting pretty close uh, to being above $29,000. So it's $28,000. So that is pretty good uh, out there. So I'm pretty excited about that. Guys, uh, let's see what's going on in terms of uh, Twitter. Uh, as you guys know, uh, 3.5 trillion reasons to buy bitcoin that is the u.s debt the u.s debt sucks right now it sucks big time guys uh don't forget to follow me uh, on my twitter we got uh, almost uh 8,556 followers out there i appreciate it if you would follow me out there what's going on what's going on in terms of uh big news out there uh looks like a titan of crypto next cycle next cycle top he's saying we could be seeing 137,000. So bookmark this, uh, bookmark this Titan. So I'm going to bookmark it. See if I can bookmark it, bookmark it, bookmark it. Uh, bookmark, bookmark. I can't bookmark it. So using the realized BTC price, drawing trend lines from the cycle uh, bottom to one of the top after potential price target, we could be seeing the next target should be coming in around about 107, uh, 100, 137,000. So that is pretty good. We've had these bottoms. We had this black swan, the COVID. We had the bottom here, right, guys? And it looks like, uh, you know, the next top, according to him, is $137,000. So that's pretty cool beans out there. I'm pretty excited. Uh, it looks like uh, Trader Tardigran is also coming out with something pretty similar. He said, look, you know, 2018, 2019, the U.S. state's one-year government bonds out there were basically 
uh, you know, spend 22 months at this plateau here, right? We spent another, uh, another 22 months at this plateau. And every time we see this happen, we have these plateaus, we see kind of Bitcoin bottoming out, followed by a massive, massive surge. So, you know, it looks like we're seeing uh, repeat again. And we can see here, we're gonna probably see, the, we saw the plateau, the US uh, one year treasury went down, it went up and now we're probably gonna see that happening. And every time the treasury dumps, we often see tops for Bitcoin. So that is cool guys, that is pretty cool. So I'm pretty psyched about that as well. You should be extremely, extremely psyched about that. Uh, so that's about it for this video guys. Don't forget to uh, uh, also get the merch guys. Merch up, gear up with the OG gear. I would appreciate it guys. Have a blessed time. Have a great time, guys. It's a great time to be live. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.